What rage ferments in your degenerate mind to make you rail at reason in mankind? Blessed, glorious man, to whom alone kind heaven and everlasting soul has freely given, whom his great maker took such care to make that from himself he did the image take, and this fair frame in shining reason dressed, to dignify his nature above beast. Reason, by whose aspiring influence we take a flight beyond material sense, dive into mysteries and soaring pierce the flaming limits of the universe. Search heaven and hell, find out what's acted there, and give the world true grounds of hope and fear. Hold, mighty man, I cried, all this we know from the pathetic pen of Angelo, from Patrick's pilgrims, Sib's soliloquies, and tis this very reason I despise, this supernatural gift that makes a might think he's the image of the infinite, comparing his short life void of all rest to the eternal and the ever-blessed. This busy puzzling stir up of doubts that frames deep mysteries then finds them out, filling with frantic crowds of thinking fools those reverend Bethlehem's colleges and schools, Born on whose wings each heavy salt can pierce the limits of the boundless universe, so charming ointments make an old witch fly and bear a crippled carcass through the sky. Tis this exalted power whose business lies in nonsense and impossibilities, this made a whimsical philosopher before the spacious world, his tub before, and we have modern cloister coxcombs who retire to think because they have naught to do. But thoughts are given for action's government. Where action ceases, thoughts impertinent. Our sphere of action is life's happiness, and he who thinks beyond thinks like an ass. Thus, whilst against false reasoning I obey, I own right reasons which I would obey, that reason which distinguishes by sense and gives us rules of good and ill from thence. That bounds desires with a reforming will to keep them more in vigor, not to kill. Your reason hinders, mine helps to enjoy. Renewing appetites yours would destroy. My reason is my friend, yours is a cheat. Hunger calls out, my reason bids me eat. Perversely yours, your appetite does mock. This asks for food that answers, what's o'clock? This plain distinction, sir, your doubts cures. Tis not true reason I despise, but yours. Thus I think reason right it, but for men I'll ne'er recant. Defend him if you can, for all his pride and his philosophy. Tis evident, beasts are, in their degree, as wise at least, and better far than he. Those creatures are the wisest, who attain by surest means the ends which they aim. If therefore Jowlers finds and kills his hares better than mares supplies committee chairs, though one's a statement, the other but a hound, Jowler in justice would be wiser found. You see how far man's wisdoms here extends. Look next if human nature makes amends. Whose principles most generous are and just, and to whose morals you would sooner trust. Be judge yourself, I'll bring it to the test. Which is the beast's creature, man or beast? Birds feed on birds, beasts on each other prey. But savage man alone does man betray. Pressed by necessity, they kill for food. Man undoes man to do himself no good. With teeth and claws by nature armed, they hunt nature's allowance to supply their want. But man with smiles, embraces, friendship, praise, inhumanly his fellow's life betrays. With voluntary pains works his distress, not through necessity but wantonness.